Hello everybody. This is the conclusion of refreshing the 1981 Silverado. And after this video we'll be going back to regularly scheduled programming. Let's take a look at some of the stuff I did just to review and conclude this series. Did a little polishing on the bumper. It is original from 81. But it looks real good with that turn signal replaced over here. It got a wax and looks pretty sharp. Not a museum piece by any means. Doesn't claim to be either. And then I had gotten a new old stock side marker too about three or four years ago and that looks pretty darn good quick look under the hood this is not a desirable model because it's not LS swapped also two-wheel drive don't can't have that kind and it's a long bed so it's got a lot going against it as far as collectability but I like it I touched up the Silverado emblem where the black paint had come off a little bit. Looks pretty good. And of course, got the new old stock door handle and the new old stock GM window felt, which fits perfectly. And then the new old stock cab corner trim. And we move along. Not much to report here. And then get to the back. I did the uh, electronic spark control emblem, repainted it, replaced this molding on the back that was peeling, and then new tailgate bumpers on each side. And that works pretty well. That's not the real license plate, by the way. Then we come along this side, about the same, nothing new to report, but we got the new cab corner trim and new old stock handle as well on this side, as well as the felt. Let's take a look at the interior with everything completed. There's that door panel and all the work I did there. the dash all nice and good shape seats looking good still go behind the seat there's that cardboard toolbox I put in everything's sitting in just perfectly now and let's take a look at the driver's side all completed new panel I put in, seat from this side, there's the toolbox from this side, get in here and take a look at it, door felts, those are looking great, I did when I had the dashboard out, I polished the gauge lens with Novus. That looks great. Gave everything a deep clean. Good shape. Just look at the headliner. It does have the proper headliner that it had when it was new, except the holes are a little bit closer together than the original was. But these are the original sun visors from 1981. They're still in great shape, so I don't see any reason to change them. A little pan over there. I did touch up that one bad spot there in the middle between the glove box and the ashtray. 
and then painted this panel here. I got this touch up spray paint. So we're in pretty good shape. I may need to, I think the only thing I need to do is touch up this thing. I'll mask everything off and sand that and respray that satin black and that will be back in good shape. I noticed it's got a little chip paint over there on that side, but other than that, not bad. Well, let's round this out with a little warm start. Those dead gum quadrajets, they just don't work right. Pull it back in, we'll be ready for our weekly cruise in the morning. So once again, this is the conclusion of the refreshment of the 1981 Chevrolet Silverado. Thank you for watching.